Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Ford F-250, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt Gooseneck Ball Kit for trucks with the OEM prep packages. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that this is gonna be a good setup for you. So Ford really did a good job, you know, putting these OEM prep packages in the bed of these trucks. Uh, these Fords are super capable and a lot of people use them to do some pretty heavy duty towing. With that said though, um, the prep package is an option, so every one of these is not gonna have it. Super easy to figure out if you do have it or not. Um, essentially, in the bed of your truck, you're just gonna have some openings here that allow you to drop in uh, a ball, and some over here that'll allow you to drop in your safety chain opening. So take a quick peek back here, make sure you have it, and um, you know, make sure you get what you need. If your truck doesn't have it, there's a ton of different options out there as far as uh, other goosenecks and fifth wheel rails and things like that you can use to uh, to get that job done. But with that said, you know, when it comes to picking out a gooseneck kit uh, for your truck, for that prep package, there's a handful of different options out there and they're all a little bit different from each other. And so what we're gonna do today is just kind of show you how this one works and, and a few things about it. But then I'm gonna grab a couple of the other kits and that way we can kind of just uh, see how they compare side by side, see how they hold up, what things we like about them, what things we don't. That way uh, you can take that information and, and make a, uh, a good decision on what kit will work best for your truck. The way the kit works, about as easy as it gets really, you're gonna have your ball and there's a lever on the top of it. You flip that open and then rotate it. That's gonna allow the keeper uh, ball there to be uh, pushed in. Drop that down into place, lock this down, and you can't pull it out. A little bit of movement there, it's pretty, pretty typical though. Um, you know, when it comes to the design of this, I think it's okay. Um, I like one a little bit better, which we'll get to in a minute. But with that said, it is high quality, you know, it feels good. This piece is metal. Um, so it should hold up pretty decent. The thing that kind of concerns me is if you leave this in here for a while, you know, is this going to get froze up? Is this mechanism? Especially once you get some use on it, you know, is it, I'm wondering if grease is going to get packed in here and, and just kind of lock everything up. Uh, that's one of my concerns. But um, other than that, you know, a nice piece. It's two and, fifth, uh, two and five sixteenths in diameter. Uh, so pretty pretty common size there, uh, pretty standard stuff. And this kit is good for 30,000 pounds. There's actually a kit that's essentially identical to this. You can't hardly tell the two apart. They're almost exactly the same. Um, but that kit's rated for 38,000 pounds. So if you're pulling something real heavy or just want a little overkill, that's always gonna be an option for you as, uh, as well. With that said though, I do always suggest, it's never a bad idea just to grab your Ford's owner's manual. That way you can make sure uh, your truck can pull up much weight safely. The way the safety chain openings work, pretty straightforward. You have a couple of pieces, a pin and clip. That's going to pull out. Super thick, actually. They feel like they're super tough. Uh, but you're going to drop these in, rotate them, take your pin and your clip, put that in. A little bit of side-to-side -side movement there. Again, you see that quite often. No way that's ever coming out though, um, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's in there pretty good. Something I have realized with these, they're, they're, you know, they're relatively thick. If you're using a hook like this, you're not gonna have any issues. This one is a, a 3 8 so that'll go right on. Be able to get it off. However though, if you have a hook like this size, this one is a 5 16 it kind of poses some issues. Uh, you know, you can, you can get it on. I'm not gonna actually snap it on because it's super hard to get off. So um, it'd be nice if, you know, they kind of thought that through, you know, I'm sure this is a pretty common size hook. Not the end of the world. Uh, you know, if you have to upgrade to something like this, kind of is what it is. Um, and you can find a bunch of different things like this right here at E-Trailer. But other than that, a pretty straightforward kit, not really a whole lot to it. So what I want to do now is just grab a couple of the other popular ones and kind of run through them and see how they hold up. So I grabbed two other kits, a Reese kit and a B&W kit. So here's the Reese ball. 
Uh, pretty similar to the Kurt actually in terms of the design, how it's going to release and stuff. It has this deal up here where you pull up on that. So let me get the Kurt one out of the way. You pull up on this, and that allows you to drop it in and lock it down. Um, you know, this part's plastic and it's pretty tight. Uh, tolerances in there, so I'm curious to see how that would hold up. You know, is it reliable? The ball isn't definitely not going to go anywhere. I can tell you that with it like this and the trailer sitting on top, you're not going to have to worry about any, uh, you know, loose connection issues or anything. But I feel like this design uh, falls slightly below this Kurt design, at least in my opinion, at least uh, how I think. Just the fact that this is metal and, uh, you know, not as many moving parts feels like it has an advantage. Now, other than that, though, I mean, the ball is well built. All these are going to be 2 and 5 sixteenths in size. Uh, probably, you know, when it comes to the safety chain openings here on the Reese kit, probably my least favorite, to be honest with you. They fall in, and you turn them, and they lock into place, but they're kind of loose. And if you've seen there, unless these things are perfectly in there, you can, you can break them loose pretty easy. So for me, I'd rather just have a little more peace of mind knowing that these aren't going to come out because if you think about it if you have to use these in an accident you have some huge trailer yanking on these things you don't want them going anywhere so that's kind of a turn off for me um honestly uh, relatively the same issue with these is the kurt you know you got the big loops those fit around it just fine the small ones you can get around there but they're super hard to get off so uh, kind of the same deal and we'll set these off to the side. We'll show you the B&W one here now. And out of these three kits, the B&W is definitely my favorite. Um, if you're familiar with towing, chances are pretty good. You've, you've heard of the B&W name. They make really good stuff. So this ball, it actually completely a diff different design. It has a handle. And so you'll drop that in and then lock that handle down and it sits in there tight um it just feels good you, you know what i mean you're not gonna have to grab a greasy ball or mess with the little deal up top here this little mechanism you got a handle easy to use easy to hold on to you know it's just it's just has its advantages in my opinion over the other two this kit's probably my favorite followed by the kurt and then followed by the reese if i had to to kind of number them um the safety chain loops are really well built actually so the way these are going to work is these are going to drop in then you rotate them and that's all there is to it these are not going to you try to twist these as hard as you can barely any side to side movement less than the other ones for sure and they're just not going to come undone i mean it's as simple as that really um both chains are going to work actually so that larger one and this one too that one's a little tight but i mean it's still very manageable so definitely has an advantage there if you happen to have these size hooks you're not going to have to worry about changing them out or anything else like that the kurt kit though does come with some extras um it comes with the plug here for your your goose neck hole um, if you happen to lose your OEM one or like this one better, at least you have it, you know, you'd rather have it not need it than the other way around. And uh, it actually comes with this carrying case. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, the B&W has this too. The Reese has, uh, it's just more or less like a bag. Uh, but kind of reminds me of a drill case. You know, pretty heavy duty. Uh, keeps everything organized. You can close this up, throw it under your back seat throw it in your toolbox, in your garage, whatever the case may be. So make it a little easier on you, you know, putting it away and uh, getting it out whenever you're uh, ready to do some towing. But other than that, at the end of the day, pretty nice kit. Like I said before, it's probably my second favorite. A um, couple things that need to be improved upon, but things you can definitely live with. And regardless of that, you know, you're going to be able to hook up to your trailer and get it pulled down the road safely. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt Gooseneck Ball Kit for trucks with the OEM prep package on our 2022 Ford F-250.